Hello and welcome to Lake News Now on KRMS TV 32. I'm Matt Markovy. Today's top stories. The Missouri State Highway Patrol has now identified the man who drowned in Osage Beach Thursday afternoon. Officials say 69-year-old Dean Guiducci reportedly fell in while walking on a dock near a houseboat in the area of Sir Dyke Port 20. Rescue personnel from the Osage Beach Fire District and the Highway Patrol responded to the scene where they pulled Guiducci's body from the water, which at the time had a surface temperature of about 47 degrees. Guiducci was taken to Lake Regional Hospital, where he was later pronounced dead. And across the lake area and the state, electric companies continue to struggle to restore power to thousands of customers. Around 4.30 Thursday night, several thousand customers in Ameren, Missouri's district in Camden County went dark, including us here at KRMS-TV. The Osage peaked around 5,000 electric customers locally, with over 20,000 statewide left in the dark. Evergy, which handles power west of Climax Springs, also reported random outages in Warsaw and Lincoln. Local community co-op providers, including Como, Laclede, and more, also reported some outages. Utility officials say the frigid conditions and the high winds are slowing the process of restoring power, and additional outages may continue. A warming center has been set up at the Community Christian Church in Camdenton, serving all residents 24-7 who are in need of shelter. And with most Missourians now focused on the impacts of a severe dose of frigid weather, it's easy to forget about concerns about the ongoing drought. But the latest Missouri drought monitor shows it is still an issue. The latest data shows conditions are essentially unchanged since a week ago. Severe, or D2, conditions continue across portions of west central Missouri. Moderate, known as D1, drought conditions persist in other parts of west central and south central Missouri. And that's your Lake News Now. I'm Matt Markovy.